Let's talk about area of a sector. So now we're not just finding arc length, we're finding this area in here. Here's our formula. Area E is one half R squared theta. Again, theta is in radians. If it were degrees, you just divide by 180 and multiply by pi. So now that we have this formula here, 1 half r squared theta, let's see about this area of a circle. Uh, so again, the area of a sector is 1 half r squared theta. So now this right here is my theta, and I know my r. So all I have to do really here is plug in values. So 1 half. 5 squared times 3 pi over 4. And this will give us our value. Now, it doesn't say how to round here, so I'll get it once uh, without it leaving in terms of pi, and then I'll uh, do it again with the decimal. So 5 squared, we got to do PEMDAS, so square first, 25. That would be half of 25. 25 over 2 times 3. So on the numerator, if I did the numerators, is 1 times 25 times 3. So 1 times 25 is 25 times 3 is 75 pi over, in the denominator I have 2 times 4, over 8. Now I don't think that'll reduce. So you could leave the answer in this form, and you would have to say unit square, because it is area, it just doesn't tell us what units we're in. So that's one way. Or we can go over to the calculator. And find out what that is as an exact value. 75 pi divided by 8, which is 29.45. Now we've been rounding the nearest tenth, so I'll say 29.5. So when I round this, 29. Point, that is writing 29.5. Units square, and that would be my answer there. So either of those two would work. Let's try to find it again. And so my formula one more time was a equals one half r squared theta. This time it gives the theta in degrees. So again, when I plug this in, I'll have one half. My radius is eight. Eight squared times sixty degrees. But the formula was for radians, so to get rid of radians, remember you, or get rid of degrees, you always divide by 180 degrees, and I'll multiply by pi. These two things are equivalent, so they should cancel out. The degree symbols cancel out here. So what do I have? 8 squared is 64. I'll take half of that, and that's 32. So it'll be 32 times 60 pi all over 180. Uh, I think this will be... 32 pi over 3. Let's check this out, though, real quick in the calculator just to make sure. Uh, I have a fraction here. So it was 1 half. 8 squared uh, times 60 all over 180. I need to put the times in here. That's 32 over 3, yep, and then we throw in the pi. And so we could say it's this, and we now it says feet. So I can say feet. Let me check to make sure they didn't place the unit on the last one. Oh, they did. It was meters squared. So I'll go back and fix this. This needs to be meters squared, and this one also meters squared. Good to have that fixed. Okay, so here's an answer that we left in terms of pi. And now if I wanted to get this as a fraction, I mean as a decimal, I would take my answer here and multiply by pi. And it says it is 33.5 when I round, 33.5 feet squared. 33.5 feet squared. And this would be my answer if I needed it as a decimal. So now I got one for you to try. You try to find this area of the sector.